the lust demon, yeah, it's like if people truly believe in demons and devils and God and everything, a demon is supposed to be something that's bad. Okay, lust. It's one of the deadly. I mean, it's one of the one of those deadly sins, and uh, it's my favorite one, man. Truly, if it's supposed to be a bad thing, I guess I'm cursed with it because I wouldn't want to get rid of the lust demon, man. It's supposed to be a demon that makes you horny. Horny meaning of the devil, because the devil's supposed to have horns, you know, if you believe in that sort of thing. So sometimes I just have to use uh, those kind of words, lust demon, so people will understand that it's supposed to be bad and lustful is supposed to be bad, but it's a wonderful feeling. It's my new ecstasy. I used to be um, addicted to ecstasy. I almost died, 15 pills in one night. And I uh, stopped, I've been clean for like two years. And my new, and I've always been addicted to women. I've always been girl crazy. Always, since I was five years old. My uncle stuck me into a drive-in show. You know, I used to rap about it, you know. It was triple X flick, you know what I'm saying? I've always been addicted to women, but now, since the drug's out of my life, I think I'm on it even harder now, that lust demon, man. And I'm 36 years old, man. It's like, I can't see coming down from it or wanting to come down from it. I'm awful careful, though. I'm awful careful. But uh, the lust demon lives within me or that lustful thing that people call a demon, you know? That's me. Tech Nine. The spiritual side of Tech Nine, I was raised a Christian. My mom's a Christian. I, I say that it's the closest thing to Jesus Christ, if there truly is a Jesus Christ. The, the ultimate good is my mom, my grandmother, my aunties. I was in the um, Sunshine Band. I was a choir for kids when I was younger at Barker Temple, Baptist Church. My mom is Jesus Christ, man. And uh, she married a Muslim when I was 12. So when I was 12, imagine having Christmas all the way up to 12 and not. And I can't eat pork and beans anymore, or hot dogs, you know what I'm saying? You know, this is a pagan holiday and this, 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 you know what I'm saying? But back then I didn't recognize that my father was trying to make me a stronger man. So with my mom, with me growing, growing up in the church and then me having to go to Juma and stuff like that with my stepfather, it made me question what's right, <clears throat> which the two to me are similar, Christianity and Islam. You know what I'm saying? If you read the Quran, or read the Bible, it's similarities, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so when I was in school, it made me want to look into Hinduism and Judaism and Buddhism and Shintoism and Taoism. And even holier than Taoism, which well, that's what I have, I think, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it twisted me up. <clears throat> it made me a clusterfuck, per se, you know what I'm saying? And I love it that I took all that in because everybody's saying this is the right way to go <clears throat> if you follow this belief. And these, you know, this is, this is man-made things, you know what I'm saying? If there, if there was a God or a higher power, I don't think that nobody would, I don't think that it would be a separate thing or we're supposed to be over here and you're supposed to be over here. Man created hatred. You know what I'm sizzling? So when I start finding that in a lot of these beliefs, man, it made me want to choose my own route. And if you wanted to label my route, I don't label it, but theism means belief in a God or gods or something like that. That's the closest thing. I, I want to believe that there's a higher power. You know what I mean? When you look at the sun and the <clears throat> moon and stars and stuff like that, and you know, you start questioning creationism and start making sense of Darwinism and stuff like that, man, it, it, it'll mess you up, but it makes for good music with me, man. You know what I'm saying? Sizzling not knowing when you watch the movie Dogma, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know, but I have a good idea. That was pretty much on the net, hit the, you know what I'm saying? Right on the head, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm a very spiritual person. <clears throat> I pray every night and every day with hope that somebody that's greater than me is listening. Nobody really ever knows. And people say that, you know, we grew like plants and evolution and stuff like that, man. It makes sense, you know what I mean? But uh, I do believe, or I want to believe, 
that there's a higher power. And I have a song on my new album, Killer, that's called Hope for a Higher Power. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, <clears throat> I said it in <clears throat> one of my verses. I said, um, what a gamble. That's what life is, that's hard to handle. When the Bible says worship this, but the scripture's written by man though. So when man destroys us, the word might not stand. So till that day, I'm just gonna protect my fam with ammo. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, maybe the only higher power could be firepower. I don't know. You know what I'm sizzling? But we'll all soon see. But I'm a very spiritual person. Never have I ever worshiped, worshiped a devil or demon, or I've never had proof of a spiritual ram. I've always went in places like this that they say, like they say, um, <clears throat> the House of Blues in, uh, Mer on Myrtle Beach has a haunted room. So I had them take me to the haunted room, you know what I'm saying, where the spirit is supposed to live. And I just sat there, I told my chick to stay back, let me go in here by myself, you know. And felt nothing, all these places to say, because truly if I found something spiritual, Maybe I would change the way I live. I don't know. I mean, if I can have proof that something was extra out there, you know what I'm saying? Other life forms, which there very might well be, you know what I'm saying? If something other than us, I've seen nothing since I was born, 36 years old. I've seen nothing supernatural. The only thing I can say that's supernatural it's like talent, like flowetry or something. You know what I'm saying? So nobody can sing like Marsha. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's got to be something divine. You know what I mean? Or, you know, some of the talented people, man, you know. But uh, maybe if I saw something supernatural other than a human being, <clears throat> I would possibly reevaluate the way I live. You know what I mean? But I do believe and I want to believe that there's a higher power because if not, and it finds it and you find out, and people find out every day that the Bible is written by man and everything, everybody knows, but you know, and it's to keep law and order, but you know, if that goes out the window, then it's anarchy. So, you know, how are you gonna protect yourself? Firepower, that's the higher power. So we shall see, you know what I mean? But I do, and I am a spiritual person, very. I pray every day, never Satan, never sacrifice anybody. I have sacrifice across my chest, you know what I'm sizzling big, like from here to here, sacrifice. And that means <clears throat> that I've sacrificed everything for this music. I've sacrificed time with my wife, that's how I lost her on a 56 city tour, uh, time with my children. You know, I've sacrificed everything for them though. This is how I take care of them. So I am a walking Bible per se, if you wanted to say that, you know what I'm saying? Liberate me on my arms, liberate me. Liberate on one arm, <clears throat> me on the other arm. That's me talking to God back then. It's a weak statement because I wanted to die back then. You know what I'm saying? Times was, yeah, you know what I'm saying? To where I felt like nobody understood me down here. So maybe I didn't belong down here like there isn't up there. Maybe, I don't know. But um, <clears throat> Angel Wings right there. We made it through a horrible wreck. March 23rd, 05, flipped five times. Boom, 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 boom. Nobody got hurt thing was totaled, so you'd like to believe that somebody had, an, some super being had an angel watching over you to where you was still able to do a show that night, you know what I mean? After flipping five times and going to the hospital and checking all your bones, nothing, you know what I'm saying? They say we were supposed to die, you know what I mean? But um, <clears throat> yeah, you can say I'm a walking Bible, you know what I'm saying? But I just don't have all the contradictions, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>